Hi, Matt. How are you? I'm fantastic. How are you this morning? I want to know what you know that we need to know. Well, there's a lot of things. I can talk a lot of things about travel. Do you want to talk now or do you want to... Let's do it. Okay, that sounds great. So uh, as the as the holidays are, are coming around, beginning with Thanksgiving, uh, we know from a lot of our members that uh, they're, they're going to visit with their family, their kids, their grandkids, and a lot of times folks are coming to visit them as well. Uh, so a lot of them are typically traveling by air. Some of them are traveling by car, either road trips or they're renting a car. So uh, even though... The, the most folks tr- typically tr- like to travel uh, off season and or off peak when it's not as crowded. The holidays can be a little bit crowded, but at the same time, with a little bit of planning, it can go as smoothly as possible. All right, Matt Phillips is here to talk to my favorite group, you 50 and over people called Baby Boomers. He's talking about travel and he's with the AARP Services Incorporated. Okay, Matt, so we got all this going on. What are you suggesting for us or what do you, what do you want to lay out on the table? Well, there's a couple of ways if you still haven't planned your travel or if you haven't finalized your plans yet, there's still some things that you can do to smooth the travels uh, for, the, for the next few weeks. We know that whether or not you're driving or flying, uh, a number of people, the, 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 uh, they're actually they're looking to save some money w- regardless of how they're traveling. So I'll give you a couple of tips whether or not you're traveling or if you're, if you're driving. For those who are flying, the planes are going to be full this, this holiday season as they always are. And for those who haven't booked their flights yet, uh, you know, it, it, the prices may be a little bit higher, but there's still some ways that you can actually save money. So if you have the flexibility and you want to save a few dollars, just try booking not necessarily the day or two before the holiday, because that's what's going to be most in demand. Try even booking the, uh, several days in advance, or the Sunday before Thanksgiving, or the Sunday before Christmas, or any other holiday that you may be traveling. If you have the flexibility, you can also travel the morning of the holiday. We typically see that the planes are less full. You might even have an empty seat next to you, and they're typically more on schedule uh, during during those off-peak times. Uh, Another way to save when you're traveling during the holidays is uh, try to minimize those check bags. No one except the airlines really likes the the check bag fees. So if you can ship things ahead of time, especially any packages that you won't need to be bringing back, that's another way to save money for when you're traveling by air. Uh, If if you're traveling by car, whether or not it's your own personal vehicle or car rentals, we have some great offers, uh, some great discounts from our relationship with Avis Budget Group. But then also if you're using your personal car, just make sure that you're actually uh, looking ahead at any routine maintenance ahead of time. Don't wait till the last minute because shops are typically going to be full because that's when people typically remember to do those things. So hopefully this will remind people to plan ahead of time. Look at things like changing the oil, uh, changing wiper blades in case you get caught in a, in a heavy rainstorm. You don't want to find out that you have bad wipers at that time. Uh, and then just any routine maintenance like car, uh, like tires. Uh, Matt, where do we have this wrapped up on the uh, Internet for our listening audience? I'm sorry, say that again? Where is this on the Internet where they can find it and look at it and get all the details? Right? All, absolutely, all in one location. You can go to aarpdiscounts.com. It lists all of your travel benefits, but not just travel, anything that you're also doing while you're traveling, such as dining, retail, shopping, uh, those types of things. For those of you who have smartphones, we have a mobile app. It's called the AARP Advantages Member, Member Advantages app. Uh, you can download for either your iOS device or, or your Android device, all in one location. Matt Phillips with AARP Services. Thank you, Matt. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you. Thanks for having me.